Good morning. You have not seen my hair like this, this long I think, and clean and everything in a long time, but I'm going to go to the barber shop to see if they can fit me in. I don't have an appointment or anything. But I'm running some errands this morning. It's just uh, like 10.20ish. Um, we're stopping by two more places after this, and one of them is, is a surprise for Sarah. Um, so hopefully we can make that happen. She doesn't know, but she's home resting. She's doing much better today. Um, I already went on my run. Didn't edit the vlog yet, but um, I went on the longest run I've gone on, so that was awesome. Um, but let's get this hair taken care of. Look at that. I think it's much cleaner. It's getting hot again in Florida, so I needed to take care of it. It was getting long. Um, it's getting hard to style, hard to keep my head on because one or two of my hats are a little small. So it's almost like if my hair is grown at all, they don't fit right. But the gentleman who did my hair was quick and knew what he was doing. So I think it looks good. This one needs some explaining. So I always keep my promises. And if you were watching our video when we tried to do the. Um, when we tried to go to the fire and have s'mores at Coronado Springs, you may remember that I promised Sarah a scone, but we never came back that weekend for me to go running, and so I never got her a scone. And what is the best, what's a better way to feel better and recover from a surgery than getting a little piece of baked Disney magic? So I'm running over, I ran over to Coronado Springs. I'm going to go to see if they have any scones available for me to purchase. And then I'm going home, and Sarah's texting me like, where are you at? What's taking forever? I'm like, oh, I'm just running to Walgreens really quick. Just look how beautiful this the lobby is of Coronado Springs. So I got lucky. I got uh, a big chocolate chip Mickey cookie and a blueberry lemon scone. And I just wanted to show you this during the daylight. I forgot the name of that lake, but right over there is the pool. And there's a bar here, and then... It's one of the bigger resorts, because it is a convention center. Uh, I think it's one of the biggest convention centers they have on property. But thus concludes my quick little pit stop, secret mission to Disney World for the day. We're gonna go home and rest. Uh, we have Jill and James making a pit stop later in the vlog, so you'll get to see them. They're going out to dinner tonight at, on Disney property. Okay, how could I not show this big crane working away. Look at that. They've definitely added, I have to go back home and look at the vlog, but they've definitely added, I think, another two to three stories on this building since we were here like just under two weeks ago. It's incredible. It's gonna be amazing to see this thing when it's done. It's gonna look so different than I think any other kind of resort tower or building on property. Say good morning to the vlog. Gonna say good afternoon to the vlog. She's just been resting. I left her for almost two hours. You doing okay? I got you surprised though. What is it? You gotta look, sit up and see. I'm wearing the same outfit. Well, you haven't. You've just been resting all morning. <gasps> I, I made a detour. It's probably the reason why I was gone so long. Sorry. Yeah. I just toasted it, so be careful. Thank you. And. Edmunds donuts are Sarah's favorite. And this doesn't have to be for right now, but why don't you open it up and show the vlog? Oh my gosh. She said she wanted a cookie. That was what I was really supposed to get at Walgreens, was 7 Up and a cookie. Oh my gosh, this is huge. And I got a cookie. Thank you. You're welcome. But I'll put that away for right now. Here we are again on another walk to the mailbox. And this time, because I just got done editing, this time, because I just got done editing, I know to wear my sunglasses because I was super squinty. But it kind of works out because the sunglasses have to do with one of the boxes that I'm going to pick up. And we're super excited to share that with you because um, if you've been watching for as long as we've been posting daily, you knew that I had a big struggle with sunglasses. So when we get home, from the mailbox, I'll explain that a little bit more in detail. Everyone's gonna think I'm crazy. Eve, I got these boxes, I got one in my pocket. This will be interesting. Are you gonna help me carry these? I don't think so. 
Uh, this is our patio, and I was gonna film this section out here of what this unboxing is, a little review and story time. But I don't know if I can do that with all these AC units right here. So I'm gonna film it, and I'm gonna check it inside. If the audio's not good, I'll just do it inside. And I also don't know if Eve is gonna spot me through the window and freak out and wanna come out, but I'll get as much as I can done right here. All right, this is not, this is not gonna work at all. This, these messed up um, blinds right there are because of Eve. Look at that. She saw, she, she realized I was out here and she's too wild right now to me, for me to bring her out here and our patio is not like fenced in. So I'd have to have a leash and she'd be going crazy. So I'm gonna move this inside. All right, I'm inside. Eve has calmed down a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys that those other boxes were um, playing Crazy Button Club like inventory stuff. So it's not like we got those boxes yesterday and we got a bunch of boxes today and we're just swimming in boxes. Those, that was all business stuff. But this one was from our friends at Weirwood and it's the company that, uh, that we got our sunglasses when we first moved here that I've been wearing for quite some time now, so since we moved. And I'm always wearing these in the parks. This is my only pair. And we went to Weirwood and got Sarah a new pair because there was uh, a little accident and she broke her other pair. So she got one that looks more like my style like siding but the front is her classic like curved look but we're going to give these a proper um proper review on monday when we get back in the parks and get them in, tested out in the florida sun because they actually sent us a little extra but we're going to do all that on monday look who woke up from her nap her belly's hurting i think it's because she needs like some good real food and probably the medicine the painkillers aren't are pretty nasty on the, on the belly but Sarah remembered that they have uh, Cars 3 on Netflix and we're big Cars fans. We saw a lot of cool stuff. See all that? Oh yeah. We saw a lot of cool stuff on Route 66 that were, was, were connected to the, the first Cars movie. And we haven't seen Cars 3 yet because we're blasphemous. So we're going to watch it right now and just kind of relax. And we haven't figured out what we're doing for dinner yet, but we'll think of something. Right? Yeah. Jill and James, I think, are going to stop by. They have reservations at Jayco tonight. Maybe they should box up two entrees for us and bring it over for <laughs> us. So we didn't pull the camera out, but Joe and James just came by to visit because they had a little date at, where'd they go to eat? Jitco. They went to Jitco to eat. And they picked us up some zebra domes. Yeah. We wanted to show you this really quickly. Sarah already ate one, but. I just couldn't resist. We couldn't resist. I wanted to, we wanted to show you these before we, we eat them all. Eat them all up. And then it's gonna be story time. All right, so I tried filming this last night and it didn't work out so well because I was so tired. So I'm redoing it in the morning and this is a little cheat on the daily vlog because this is gonna go in today's vlog, which was for yesterday. But this right here is this awesome photograph album that Sarah made in her last job for Val the first Valentine's Day after we got married. And I wanna show you some pictures from it because we watched Cars 3, and I want to tell you a little story about how we drove Route 66 from Chicago to Santa Monica, California for our honeymoon, which we did nine days, and at the end of it, we spent five days at Disneyland. But what we didn't realize, we were, we were hopeful that we would see bits and pieces of the inspiration for Cars and Cars Land on the road, and we were blown away at the fact that we did see so much. And so Sarah was able to, she designed this herself, um, you see where it says right here, our honeymoon in photographs. Uh, I forgot his first name, but his last, or it's Eli Wild, Wildmore, and he does, the, he does the art in this photo here, which is actually at the Cozy, Cozy Drive-In, which is the, the very first place where they invented the corn dog. And this artist is actually the inspiration for Fillmore, um, the van in Cars. Yeah, I'll show you the real picture in a moment, but here's a truck that we found with a tree growing through it, and it's a tow truck. But literally, this is what the Pixar team saw. Not this exact same truck, but I'll show you that picture of that, uh, that truck. Saw the truck that inspired Mater, like this in a field, with a tree growing through it. But it was a boom truck, not a tow truck. Okay, here's the, here's the biggest. This is probably the biggest Cars thing. And here is Cars on Route 66, this little gas station that has, this is a, a boom boom truck, it's got a boom stick, it's, it's bigger than a tow truck, they use this to lower into, into wells and mining shafts, um, but this is the actual truck that inspired Tomator. You can see right here the backside, this is an actual um, 
Mater truck that Pixar donated to the woman who owns this. Her name's Melba the Mouth. I'll put like a link somewhere below of her her crazy personality. She's she's a pretty awesome character, but um they 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 wouldn't get let her call this truck Tow Mater when they, when cars was coming out because of marketing reasons. So she asked the local school what to name her because she got this neon sign right here put in, and the school decided to call it Tow Tater. So this is Tow Tater next to Tow Mater. This is the Rock Cafe, and the reason why this is a roadside attraction and why it's so important to cars, and here's an actual Cars poster signed by a bunch of the animators and John Lasser. Um, right here, if you look closely, that's a note, but it's got Buzz and Woody on it. The woman who runs this cafe, and we didn't talk to her, but we actually saw her walking around the cafe because we had lunch there. She was the inspiration for Sally. Like, her personality was Sally. And so, like, there's a drawing right here. There's a Toy Story 2 uh, movie poster signed by all, a bunch of the animators, and they had, she had this little corner dedicated to cars. So in the background of cars, you'll see... Um, it's called Ornament Valley, and the, the mountains in the background look like this. This is Cadillac Ranch. These are the backsides of a bunch of Cadillacs stuck in the ground. It's a famous art piece. So that's a piece of history. For my Disneyland fans, you will get a kick out of this. So at Flo's Diner, at, uh, in Carsland, you can get Ugly Crust Pie. This is the real Ugly Crust Pie. We actually ate at the diner at the Midway Cafe, Midpoint Cafe, where the actual Ugly Crust Pie is. And we met the woman who owns Midpoint Cafe and created the recipe for that. Disneyland does not have the real recipe of the actual pie, but she gave us a magnet with the crust pot, with the crust recipe on it. And she is the inspiration for Flo. Not the voice, but she's the real inspiration. And then she actually had, she had a car out front here. She is here with Sarah. She was super nice. It reminded me of Flo. And then there's a car she had outside of it where she let everybody sign it. And one of the animators who designed uh, Len McQueen signed this car and it says Kachow. This is the, probably one of my favorite pictures ever taken. And so what this is, is to me, is the epitome of Route 66 and what happened with Route 66. And I'll pull it up here. I have it like bookmarked. Um, page 70. I remember that. Okay, so page 7 here, you'll see that this road, this is the highway, this is like what killed Route 66, just blasted through this rock to go make a straight line. And that is never more apparent than like in this photo here. This road here is Route 66, it goes straight and ends, but what you can't see is it curves around this rock formation. So it curves around it, because when they built Route 66, they didn't have the money or time or technology to just blast through this and excavate through rock formations. But next to it is the interstate that replaced it, making ghost towns like Radiator Springs. And you can see here, this all right here, it used to be rock formation, but it's blasted through. And not only did it blast the rock, but you can see it's pretty level. Whereas this road, you can tell, is like wavy, because they didn't level it out. But the interstate, they made flat and pretty and clean and level and blasted through rock just to make straight lines whereas Route 66 moved with the land. There's us in Cars Land. And then, I'm sure if you saw me flipping, we saw many walls that were painted like this. And Sarah took a photo like that in many places along Route 66. So it was very like a surreal moment to be, see, there's the ugly crust pie from Flo's. It was surreal to be on Route 66 for nine days and then to be in Carsland. There it is. So this was one of my favorite gifts ever. I'm gonna go edit this vlog right now and I think we are gonna step off right into our sign off. Sleepy. Look at this other sleepy one. <laughs> Evers, you lounging? I've never seen her lay like this in my whole life. <laughs> Are you comfy? Alrighty. Thanks for watching today. <laughs> it's a late one. It is a late one. I'm we had a good, sleepy. relaxing day. These two are knocked out from taking care of me. It's all good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at 
Walt Disney Productions.